Hello, this is Hunter Delatre with my Gesture Tracker VR plugin for Unreal Engine. This plugin provides easy to use motion controller gesture tracking in 3D space. Um, all you have to do is record a reference gesture and then you can reenact it to cause an effect in your game. So in this case you can see I've been recording some gestures and now that I reenact them it shoots some fireballs of different colors depending on the gesture I'm reenacting. So to demonstrate how to set this up, I'm going to be doing it in a freshly created VR template in Unreal Engine 4.13. So all we have to do is, I'm in the motion controller blueprint right now, and I'm adding a gesture tracker component and attaching it to the motion controller so that it has the same position. It's a scene component, so it needs to have the same position as whatever point you want to track in 3D space, um, which in, in most cases will be the motion controller location. I then just add these four functions to start and finish recording in recognition, and I can hook those up to some input actions. So I'm hit, hooking it up to a built-in grip uh, action, that's the trigger, and then I also added the record action for recording gesture. And I can take the result of this finished recognition node, and using the idea of the recognized gesture, I can perform some action in the game. So in this case, I'm hooking it into a cast by ID macro, which just casts a different colored fireball depending on the ID. A gesture's ID is a unique positive integer that is assigned in the finish recording function, and if you put a negative one, it'll just automatically assign an ID to it, so that's what we have set up right now. Um, now also you can go over, and I have set up in the begin play function, I've hooked up this macro, to set up the drawing functions. So if we start draw track gesture, then that'll draw a line along the path that we're gesturing with our hand. And start draw predicted gesture will draw the gesture during recognition that it thinks you're performing. So you can see now this white line that tracks along the hand is the track gesture draw. And the blue line that's filling up the gray outline is the predicted gesture, where the blue part shows how far you've tracked through it. Now you can use your own mesh and materials if you'd like, but it'll use these ones by default if none are supplied in the draw function arguments. Materials you provide have to work with spline meshes. Now the way I'm gesturing right now is I press the trigger to start recognition, I perform the gesture, and then I release the trigger to finish recognition. Now the way these functions work is it expects you to do the gesture and nothing but the gesture during the recognition period. Now there are some parameters you can tweak to give you some leeway, but you're not supposed to start recognition, flail around for a while, and then eventually do the gesture. If you would like to gesture this way, then the system also offers continuous recognition. During continuous recognition, you don't have to press anything to start or stop recognition. All you have to do is move your hands around, and if at any point you perform a recognized gesture, then this event will be called with the gesture's ID as well as the name. And names are something that I forgot to mention before, but they're just a non-unique identifier that you can give to a gesture if you like. They're optional. Um, so we just have to attach the uh, continuous recognition event to the cast by ID macro again. And then I'll set up these start and stop continuous recognition functions in the same way that I set up other recognition functions before, just with this input action. Oh, and I'd also like to mention that there is a uh, gesture recognized event that also gets called during normal gesture recognition that just gets called as soon as a gesture is recognized if you don't want to wait until the finished recognition function is called. So now here we are, and you can see it's always tracking my hand. I'm not pressing any buttons. And as soon as I perform one of these gestures, it performs the corresponding action, which is the nice different colored fireballs we've got. So I can do the classic Harry Potter swish and flick. Uh, and you might notice that the predictive draw is a little intrusive during continuous recognition, because even while just moving your hand naturally, you sometimes start doing gestures. Um, but you can add a blacklist of gesture IDs to not draw, and I'll be adding more options to control that in the future. So with that, I will gesture to flap my wings and fly away and shoot some fireballs as I go. Um, you can find the Gesture Tracker VR plugin on the Unreal Marketplace pretty soon, I hope. And that's all. I hope you enjoy and hope this plugin helps some people make some cool stuff. See ya.